the Sixers blow a 26 point lead to the Hawks. They had a 99.7 chance of winning that game, according to some. Uh, I'll put the link or I'll put the the graphic according to some one of these statistic websites. Uh, by the third quarter, when they had a 26 point lead, they had a 30. They had a 99.7 percent chance of beating the Hawks, and they blew it in the fourth quarter with. With Trey Young in the sidelines, they let Lemon Pepper Lou Lou Williams go off. They let uh, the whole Hawks bench go off. And once they put in Embiid back, once they put in Simmons back, it was too late. The only one that had a really, really great game was Steph Curry. He was great throughout. He had like a playoff career high. I think he had 35 points. Shout out to Seth Curry. Um, I know I've, I've seen his story come like since he came into the league, being in the G League. Being in his brother's shadow, uh, bouncing around from the Sacramento Kings to the Warriors to Dallas to Portland. And now he's with Philly, and it's just great to see him have success as the little brother being in the shadow of, of Steph Curry. Uh, shout out to Seth. But I digress. The Sixers below a 26-point lead. I think Joel Embiid is uh, obviously he's not 100%. He has that slight ACL tear. We'll see how long he's able to play. But in the second half of these games, it looks like he loses steam. He gets tired. Uh, his leg probably starts bothering him. So I feel for him because he is getting no help from his other big three stars. Um, ben Simmons, like, what are you doing? You have, you've you been in the league for, what, four or five years now? And your, your free throw percentage just keeps tanking. Like, you're worse than Shaq at, at shooting free throws. You're scared to even shoot the ball. I mean, I get frustrated with with uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo because he shoots too many threes. He settles for shots. But, man, he's at least trying. Like, we know he can't, He hasn't improved. We've seen that he hasn't improved. But he's at least trying. Ben Simmons is scared to even try. He doesn't, need, he doesn't even look at the rim when he's past eight feet. It's so upsetting. Um, Doc Rivers, this is, this is his legacy. Like, Winning that championship with the Celtics, he had a big four. He had Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, Ray John Rondo, Ray Allen. Like it, obviously, it's a great accomplishment that you're the head coach of a winning team like that. But it was hard to not win a championship with a stacked roster like that. Since then, like what what has Doc Rivers done? He's underperformed. He he couldn't maintain the Celtics' success after that big three leave. All right, give him a pass. He couldn't really. He couldn't get the Clippers to the Western Conference Final. He couldn't. He, now he's with the Philly. He 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 got swept last year. He, he's he's choking this lead with the Hawks this year. Like what? Doc Rivers, man. A lot of your pedigree, a lot of your shine is really, is really has been lost. Has been lost these last few years. Um, he's the only coach to blow a 3-1 lead in the playoffs multiple times and he's done it three times he has one of the biggest uh he blows big leads in the playoffs like 15 plus point leads he, i believe he has like 11 of those in the off se- in the postseason it's just so upsetting like come on but i can't really like yeah doc rivers could have made some adjustments but like it's just I'm not done ranting on Simmons. Like, what is Ben Simmons doing in the offseason? How is his game not progressing? If anything is digressing, <laughs> I saw uh, some talk shows and on Twitter, people were calling him. Ben Simmons is just a overpaid Andre Ro- Robertson, uh, the small forward that used to play for OKC. Which he used to be a great defensive player, but he, he sucked everywhere else, especially on offense. His three-point game was, like, super bad. But Ben Simmons, man, what are you doing? Like, in the offseason, what do you do? Do you just kick it with the Kardashians or do you not care about your game? How is he not improving? He's shooting, like, 30%, like, in the 30s as a free th- from the free throw line. And he's your point guard. He's your main ball handler. Um, he's scared to attack the rim late in game because he doesn't want to go through the free throw line. They're hacking him. It just kills the whole flow of your game. Um, if Embiid is on fire... In any point of the game, except in the fourth quarter, the last two minutes of the fourth quarter, you think Embiid is going off? Hey, just hack a sh- just hack a Ben Simmons and send him to the line. Um, not only is it good for your team because he's probably going to miss both of them, and chances are he's only going to make one. He's never going to make two for the most part, and it kills Embiid's like momentum, mojo. Like if if Embiid is just dominating, he makes three straight buckets. Hey, I'm a I'm a hack Ben Simmons kill kill. Uh, 
Embiid's momentum, just like you know, get the ball out of his hands, let's and just completely slow down the game. And it's just disappointing for the Sixers because they definitely have the better team than the Hawks. The Hawks are just willing themselves into this lead. And the Sixers do not do not learn their lesson. They they blew an 18-point lead in game four. They they blow a 26-point lead in game five. And now today they play the Hawks in Atlanta in an elimination game, game six. We'll see what happens. But I will not be surprised if they don't force a game seven. Um, and Beat is nursing that partially torn ACL. Ben Simmons, he's not going to give you more than 10 points, 12 points. You get lucky if you get 18 out of him. Um, he, he's not aggressive. He's scared to attack. He won't shoot. Uh, if he attacks the rim, just foul him, send him through the free throw line. He's going to shoot 30% at the free throw line. Like So many holes to his game. Um, and it's just it's, it's upsetting. Uh, I, I don't really feel for Philly fans because I feel like they have one of the worst fan bases. They, yeah, they're very passionate, but uh, they're they're known for being like rough on their players. Um, I don't think they would even want me to feel bad for them. They're they're just that type of people. Like they're very rough. They're very proud. So I'm not gonna say I feel bad for Philly fans. Um, I, I feel bad for Seth. I want to see Seth Curry succeed, and that's pretty much it. Tobias Harris, what are you doing? Uh, four points, I believe he had in Game Six. You're getting paid like thirty plus million dollars. Like, come on, someone help. Joel Embiid, yeah, I know Joel Embiid like missed some free throws at the end of the game, and he was like 0 for 2, and he was passing the ball. But man, he's playing on a partially torn ACL. Like, come on, give the man a break. He put up 36 points. He he did his thing in the first half. He's the reason you guys had a 26 point lead. Like, can somebody help this man, Ben Simmons? Work on your game, man. Like this off season, like this is embarrassing, man. And if I'm the Sixers. And there was really like talks like who should we keep and beat or Simmons like they might not they might just not work like Simmons might just have to go get his own team and play like the Giannis role in that team and there used to be a debate I always thought they should keep and beat I never really liked Simmons I thought he was overrated I think now it's more evident than ever that you keep and beat and you cut your losses with Simmons because like I said, he's been in the league for what, like four or five years now, and he has not improved his game at all. If anything, his offensive game is just tanking. It's non-existent. He's a black hole on offense. He's a great in transition. He he he's a savant at finding spaces, finding players, finding Seth Curry in a corner three in transition. If you get in a half court offense, Simmons Simmons is just not it. He's a liability. He's a black hole at the in the half court offense and in the playoffs. When the defense tightens up and you can't really get that many fast fast break points, he's just he's basically terrible in the half court offense. But who do you guys think is gonna win game six? Is it gonna be the Sixers? Is it gonna be the Hawks? The Hawks are very entertaining. Um Trey Young, like I've been ranting on the Sixers, but quickly let me just give the Hawks some credit. Trey Young, you've been amazing. Lou Williams, you your instant points off the bench. Um Capella, he, he's he's done like a decent job against Embiid, especially in the second halves. Um, yeah, just the Hawks, their head coach. I, I can't remember his name right now, but since he came in into, in the half in the middle of the season, he's completely turned over that Hawks team. They play with a lot more intensity on defense, and I think that really translates to their offense. And they just they just seem to have a great culture. Uh, Trey Young, after the game, had an interview, and he was just saying, we never gave up. We all love each other. We have so much fun here. I think it's very easy to see that they, they do love each other. They they do play as the one unit, and I think they've been one of the funner teams to watch in the playoffs. So shout out to Trey Young. Shout out to the Hawks. Shout out to the coach. I can't remember your name. And we'll see if the Hawks, one of the worst teams in the last few years, amazing turnaround. They're one game away from the Eastern Conference Finals and the Sixers, they might just blow this.